The safety of our guests and our staff and our animals is our top priority. And so we closed the zoo today in an abundance of caution. This morning at approximately 7.20, one of our staff found that our three-year-old male jaguar, Valerio, was outside of his exhibit and the animal was darted and within a few minutes started to go to sleep. And after that, he was transported back to his night holding and, and by about 8.20 this morning, he was safely inside the building. But we'll be continuing to investigate the situation to find out exactly the facts behind this and then we'll adjust our protocols. Audubon is a member of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. We have been since 1981 and part of our accreditation process with them is to have very strict protocols in place to deal with situations like this. We drill for just these situations and I am, I'm happy to say and I'm proud of our team that they responded exactly the way that they were trained to do and the way we practice it many times a year. So unfortunately during the, the Jaguar escape, um, we did lose some animals to the Jaguar and uh, some of our alpacas were impacted, uh, fox and, and one of our emu uh, was also uh, attacked during this escape. And, and that has a, a fairly large impact on our staff. You know, our staff truly care about these animals, not just care for these animals. We have counselors coming in, grief counselors, to talk to staff to help them get through this. You know, nothing's going to happen to the jaguar itself. Unfortunately, it was doing what jaguars do. We certainly are not going to euthanize the animal over this. For all of us, as, a, as we said, that th these are our family and, and we've had such a great response from the public on on social media and giving us their uh, uh, concern and sharing with us how much they feel for our team right now and, and I can't say how much we appreciate that.